Tyler Tucker Tuck also like very close game up there. Um, against the number three seed, how would you sum up your performance? Yeah, I think I'm disappointed that I lost because I was I put myself in the position to win that match. Um, or definitely take that first set. Um, but in terms of the stuff that I've been working on and putting my game onto her, um, I've come off and I've done that. Um, it's now bringing in those margins. So when you've got an open court, you make the ball um, on the, you know, that first set point that I had. So definite positives to take. Um, and there's stuff that I'm still going to go away and work on. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the next match. I, I know you've taken a set off her before. Was, it, was that as close as you've come to beating her? Yeah, I think today was probably the closest. Um, I think uh, it was back at the British in 2015 that um, I took the first set, um, lost the second set quite like quite easily, um, and then it was quite close in the third set again. So, you know, I know that I'm there amongst the top girls. I know that I need to play my better game, like a, an A game against them to, to win. But, um, yeah, against Yui today, I, I'm really happy with how, you know, how I hit that ball and how I made her have to play. Um, but yeah, just disappointing that I made those sort of silly mistakes as far as I'm concerned. What, what, what are the pr uh, problems that she presents? She's got a very slicey, spinny serve that brings you into the court. Um, and she's a lefty, so it's always like swinging to your backhand. Um, I think I dealt with it fairly well. There was you know, some very good shots and winners off of it. And there were some um, ones that went into her, sort of, uh, into her hitting zone. Um, she's also, you know, she moves around the ball to hit a forehand and when she gets that shorter ball on her forehand it's kind of she can go either side she can nail it down the line or she can hit a nice angle so I'm, I'm aware of that I tried to keep it deep and obviously when I left it short that's when she took advantage and there's a lot of British talent that are here at the Masters this year do you think there's a bright future for British wheelchair tennis and British tennis more generally going forward yeah I think it shows um, how the program's been with the Tennis Foundation uh, we've really come on as a and as an entire team like we smashed it at the Paralympics this year um, Alfie's up and coming, he's only 18 years old, um, you know, he had a hard loss today, but uh, getting silver at the games, like, that was fantastic, so he's still got two more matches to play and then obviously the results will go. Um, got Gordy, you know, not much to say there, he's amazing, um, and I think he continues to dominate in the men's game. Uh, and, and Geordie and myself in the women's, um, not sure if Geordie's going to take some time out, um, but I think she still wants to come back for Tokyo, uh, and then you've got two of the quad players, so... You know, it's huge for us. You know, it's, that's you know, it's a lot of British players in the in the draw.